Hi, I'm Rick Sellens, and I'm going to show you another way that you can write out to your GPIO pins using pulse width modulation, or PWM. That will allow you to cause the pins to switch on and off very rapidly, simulating a range of voltages between 0 and the full voltage of 3.3 or 5. This is useful for things like switching on and off an LED very rapidly to make it look like it's either bright or dim. And we'll do that with the LED on pin 13. The analog write function for pulse width modulation will take values anywhere between 0 and 255. So we can use this percent sign, the modulo operator and the millis function, to generate a value of brightness that goes from 0 up to 255 and then repeats from 0 up to 255. And we'll print that out just to see how that works. Now let's see what happens if we use the analog write function to write that brightness out to our LED on pin 13. You'll have to take my word for it that as the brightness number is changing, the LED is going from dark through to dim, brighter and brighter, up to full brightness when we get up to 255. We could learn a little bit more by doing a digital read from pin 13 and seeing what the value is as we go through these different levels of brightness. When the brightness value is low, we almost always get a zero from pin 13, or off. It's almost always off, and it switches on only a little bit. But as it gets brighter and brighter, we see it's on more and more often. It's switching on and staying on for longer periods, and that's changing the brightness on the LED. We can use this on-off switching of pulse width modulation to control things like the brightness of lights, the speed of electric motors, or the amount of heat that we're putting into a heating element on, for example, a 3D printer. That's a good skill to have in our toolbox.